So this is the Lapio Zesti 514, 2013 model. It's 299999, 3,000 pounds. So a few changes for 2013 to this. Some subtle changes, but quite important. The uh, chain stays are a little bit longer. The back axle is now bolt through instead of a, a little spindly QR. The forks have gone from 140 to 150, still Fox and the head angle is a little bit slacker, it's 66.5, which is quite slack for a trail bike. It's pretty well specced, XT cranks, XT rear mech, only SLX shifters though, but all still works very well. Fox rear shock, just the Evolution tune, which is good, but not, not the very, very best, but still very plush rear suspension. As for weak links, there, there, are, there are no major flaws in the spec, but the tyres are, are not the best, they're quite hard compound. On my long-term Zesty, I swapped the front tyre to the back and then took it off the back and put it in the bin, put some of Schwab's own hand stamps on there a lot better. The cockpit is also a little bit narrow, 7-10 millimetre bar, and a little bit long, quite a high rise here as well, this is 75 millimetre stem, but this is the medium sized bike. If you're six foot or over, you're going to go for a large. The large bike comes with a 90 millimetre stem, which only makes the problem uh, worse. It's not unrideable by any means, it's, it's perfectly good, but it's not the best solution for the kind of aggressive riding this bike encourages. Also, there's, there's no dropper post as standard, although it's the right width to easily take any of the market leaders you want to put in. The brilliance of this bike is the versatility of it. Even though it's capable of very aggressive riding, as in you could put it on a full on downhill track and feel confident on it. That's not all it is. It's not a big chunky bike. Um, it's 27 pounds without pedals as it comes. And as it's full carbon, there, there's still scope to make it lighter. It pedals very well, so it's a great cross country bike. And you have scope to either go lighter still, make it a general trail bike, or you can go a bit burlier because the wheels aren't the stiffest things in the world and they're not the lightest either, and make it even more capable downhill. If you really want to go crazy, you can then start putting a Fox 34 or a 36 on the front. Um, you can put a shorter shock on, make the whole thing a 160 bike. So it's very, very versatile. It'll either do very light, capable, fun trail bike, or a pretty full-on sort of downhill, enjoyable, fun bike. The Zesty was third in our heavily contested 2013 Trail Bike of the Year, the Watt Mountain Bike. It was pretty close as well. It just beat the Norco site, which won last year, largely because of this carbon frame and, and its, its versatility, whereas the site is kind of stuck where it is, as good a, a bike as it is. 